Welcome to the Cape Town International Convention Center. It's the South African Wind Energy Association holding um, its annual Windaba. But to talk to us more about uh, the deliberations of uh, today and what will be happening for the next couple of days until the 3rd of October is the CEO of Saweya, Nivesh Govinda. Welcome to the SABC. Thank you for having me. You're talking wind, wind and wind uh, this week. Tell us, how, far, how are we, as the country, are we doing when it comes to wind energy? Thank you very much for the question. So currently to date, we have about 3.4 gigawatts of installed capacity. Uh, and this is generating just over 36,000 gigawatt hours of, of energy and power putting onto the system. And what this means in, in nominal terms is that we are able to power just over 3.6 million average households in South Africa with wind energy. You're talking about uh, powering those households. Uh, renewable energy is, does not come cheap. Talk to us about affordability. This is a, a very big misconception uh, that renewable energy doesn't come cheap. Uh, so, you know, over the last 10 years, we've been able to reduce the tariffs of wind energy over 100%. We're currently sitting at a cost of 50 cents per kilowatt hour. And as an, an average household would know, this is a lot less that you, than you pay uh, your municipality or ESCOM for electricity. This energy is being provided directly to ESCOM, so it's been integrated into the national system. And then uh, ESCOM uh, resells or further sells this on to an end consumer or a, a homeowner that, that needs the energy. Tell us, um, when we talk infrastructure, what is it that you still need versus uh, what you've got to be able to roll out uh, that wind energy? One of our biggest challenges holding us back is the grid infrastructure. So the transmission grid infrastructure needs to be built out. These are literally the wires that carries the energy from the source of the plant of where it's being generated all the way through to businesses and households that use that energy. So that transmission infrastructure is lacking. There's something like 14,000 kilometers of infrastructure that needs to be built. And this needs to be built in areas where there's high wind resources. So the Cape region, Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, Western Cape, uh, requires this infrastructure build. Uh, we've heard the minister over the last few weeks talk about independent transmission infrastructure that's required uh, and what the plan is to, to bring that online. But as it stands, that is our biggest hurdle from a wind energy perspective to, to build on new projects and bring in new power to the system. As a layperson, uh, one, some, some people assume that when we're talking wind energy, we're talking about infrastructure that's going to be um, built in areas or in, or in provinces the, where there is lots of wind, like for instance, if you're talking about Cape Town, you're talking about some parts of the Eastern Cape. Is that the case? Absolutely. So our current projects, uh, 36 of them, all built in the Cape region. So Northern Cape, Eastern Cape have predominantly the wind projects. These are huge infrastructure projects. They are mega projects. Uh, and they are built in remote areas in the country where the wind is really good. And there are communities within these areas that need to be supportive. So today, particularly at the Windaba Connect uh, program, is talking about socio-economic development, enterprise development, economic development holistically, and how wind projects are actually supporting those communities within a 50-kilometer radius of those projects, you know, having infrastructure upgrades, whether it's roads, whether it's schools, clinics, um, kids going to schools or educational programs. There's a lot of socio-economic development happening through these projects in these remote areas where it's most needed. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. That was the CEO of Saweya, Nivesh Govinda. With that, back to you at the studio.